Christopher Francis Stark is a British radio personality best known for his work as a contributor on The Scott Mills Show on BBC Radio 1. Radio career, Stark started working at Radio Northwick Park, a hospital radio station, at the age of 16 and gained experience working at stations including Galaxy, Real Radio, Virgin Radio and BBC Six Music. At 18, Stark started at the University of Southampton where he studied politics and was given his own show on the student radio station Surge. He officially joined the Scott Mills Show team on April 2, 2012, but occasionally appeared on the show as Scott's friend Chris for a period of time prior to this. Stark participates in most of the show's current features including Real or No Real, Innuendo Bingo, 24 Years at the Tap End, Loving the Trolls and Mike Ox Big vs. Mo Lester. 24 Years at the Tap End, Chris Stark is known for the feature 24 Years at the Tap End, in which he reads excerpts from his autobiography. He was originally inspired to write his own autobiography after reading the autobiography of Brendan Sheeran from Coach Trip. The title refers to his on-air realization, at age 24, that he had been sitting at the wrong end of the bath his whole life. The first episode aired on November 11, 2011. In this episode, Stark revealed that his parents had originally planned to name him Porrick. Throughout the series, Stark recounts memorable events from his years at the tap end, which often include mistakes made and life lessons learned through adventures with his friends. The second series of the show concluded in 2013, with no plans for a third. However, a one-off special aired in January 2014 as part of a comedy night on Radio 1. This late-night edition, Tap End, Unplugged, aired live in front of a studio audience and featured a live rendition of the theme tune. The late airing allowed for Chris to reveal the full story of a holiday to Prague he had discussed in a previous episode, telling parts which were considered too rude for daytime, and using strong language. The Myla Kunis interview, in March 2013, Chris Stark was sent with 10 minutes notice to a media junket for the film as the great and powerful to interview American actress Myla Kunis for the Scott Mills show. The interview caught the attention of the world's media due to its unorthodox nature, as Stark barely mentioned the film and mostly discussed his local pub, football club, Nando's and drinking games with his friends. The video was posted to YouTube by BBC Radio 1 and subsequently went viral. Within days, it had been viewed by 10 million people and Stark himself was interviewed by American entertainment and news shows such as Access Hollywood and CNN Starting Point with Soledad O'Brien. Chris later went on to interview Robert Downey Jr. and Jennifer Aniston in similar fashion. The Kelp Hunter, Two Chairs, One Chat, in November 2013. Channel 4 announced they had commissioned an hour-long, one-off documentary special which would feature Chris attempting to interview his ultimate bucket list of celebrities, including Derek Okora, Rachel Stevens, Emma Thompson, Colin Farrell, Ricky Hatton and Bernd Troyer. This aired on Monday 10 February and attracted 662k viewers on overnights. I see why am I, since November 2014, Stark has hosted a BBC iPlayer-only feature called I See Why Am I where he talks through highlights from the last week on Radio 1 and Radio 1 Extra. Virtually famous, since July 2014, Chris has been a team captain on the E4 show, Virtually Famous, which he will return to for a further two series in 2015. References External links March 2012 interview with Chris Stark by Soton Tab Chris Stark featured in an April 2012 Newsbeat report on heart screenings, 2014 interview with Chris Stark by Soton Tab.